Hey guys, I'm just heading out of town right now. As beautiful and majestic as the city is, it's not conducive to relaxing and hunkering down. So we're uh, going out to a national park, which is about 45 minutes away. So I hope we're gonna have some light when we get there. It's a renowned park for its wildlife. So I hope we see some wildlife as well. And dawn and dusk are the best times for that. And it is dusk. So it's time to forget about all our problems, forget about everything going on, and we're just gonna get out of this city and go camping. Uh, the open road. Uh, it could be a little dark when we get there, but we're gonna make that work. So, uh, of course, if you like my videos, uh, it really does help me a lot if you subscribe and like them and uh, click the bell, but uh, we'll leave it at that. So, next stop, campground. All right, we made it to Elk Island National Park. It's a huge, uh, huge park bisected by the Trans Canada Highway, Highway 16. And it is dusk. And we're gonna see if there's little wildlife out right now, because they like dusk. That's what they what they like to do. Eat at dusk and dawn. Alright, we've found some wildlife. There's these uh, herds of bison here. And uh, they are all over the place. This, this park is really known for that. Uh, one side of the road has plains bison, the other side has woods bison, and the two don't interbreed. They're separated, but uh, we've got uh, a fair little bit of buffalo out here, or bison, but uh, hopefully we'll see a lot more. And they couldn't call it Elk Island if it didn't have an elk, right? Guys coming closer eaten uh, grazing closer to me. These things are big and powerful. You don't approach them because, uh, yeah, look at that big guy over there. Yeah, you don't want to make him angry. So yeah, before everybody says, hey, you stupid moron, why are you out there filming with all these wild animals? Uh, the park's designed for it. I'm very close to my truck and they actually have little seating areas for you to watch uh, the majesty of nature and all its splendor right in front of you. Okay, we saw some buffalo and we're gonna head into the park because I really don't want to be setting up the camp in pitch black. There's a little bit of a moon tonight, but uh, goodbye bison. We will see you guys later. Big herds come out in the morning. It's just incredible, but uh, we'll see see that in the morning. Oh yeah, this one's a big guy and he does not care. Made it to the campground and the sun is setting fast. Of course I'm the only one here, so I'm gonna get this set up real quick. I kind of realized I don't have uh, any way to charge the camera, so I hope I have enough battery with me to get this done. And uh, let's begin. I don't know. This tent is getting a little worn out. I've given it a lot of use, so I hope this will last this season. I might have to look at a new one next year. Yep, abandoned campground, but for me. And here's a view we've all seen a few times before. It's time to set up the tent, start a fire, and start cooking and hunkering down and maybe explore a little bit to see what's in the area. It's gonna be dark, but we got a flashlight. We'll check it out, see what the campsite's like. Then uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna head up, uh, try out some trails, see what else we can see, make a quick breakfast in here too. And then we'll tear down and we'll call it a day because it's just a one-nighter. So, time to set up the gear. Done. 
getting fire started because uh, I try to do it the easy way as much as I can. The wood they have here at the campsite is, uh, you have to pay for it. It's $8.80, but that's unlimited use of the firewood, which is a lot better than what I see a lot of places in Canada these days. They, uh, you pretty much have to bring your own or buy it for $10 a bundle sometimes. So the, uh, the wood here, it's a decent deal. It's not the best quality of wood. It's uh, poplar, and a lot of people have a problem with poplar. So some people call it aspen, um, alder, uh, that type of thing. It's kind of a weed tree. It grows really fast. Uh, it has a distinct smell, though, which always reminds me of camping because uh, growing up, that's all the parks had was those free firewood piles, and it was all the cheap poplar. So that's the smell of firewood I associate most with camping. But uh, we'll get this stoked up and going and uh, it's gonna be a darn good night guys okay uh, it's very warm in here uh, outside it's around freezing it's gonna get below freezing tonight so in my continuing reckless pursuit to seemingly attract every wild animal in the forest over to my place for dinner we're gonna make some Hungarian goulash and we'll start out with a little bit of oil so I'll Easy, easy campfire stuff to do. Uh, this one you can put it in the pot, just kind of cook it, stir it once in a while, and eat it whenever you're ready. So I got stewing beef cubes here, and we'll brown those up. And that's the first step of the game, and by the end of this, there should be enough for leftovers for tomorrow for a hike uh, to hopefully find something other than just buffalo. They're nice to see, but. Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of other animals out in the forest that we can hopefully get a peek at. So uh, we'll round this up and then step two is uh, to enjoy President's Choice Pilsner uh, beer while this cooks because uh, I'm on a budget and this beer is economical. It's the Canadian discount store house brand of beer, but it's made by Labatt's, I think, so it's actually pretty good. So I'll enjoy my step two and stir this up and we'll see you back in a sec. Okay, moving right along. This is, uh, meat is nicely browned. I'm dumping in a couple of teaspoons of paprika, which is what makes it goulash. And people have different ways to do this, different orders, but this is camping. So we're just kind of throwing it in a pot because it's goulash, right? So in goes paprika. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in, uh, not quite a teaspoon, but we can adjust that later. It's, you can't make it less salty, <clears throat> but you can make it more salty. And we'll add the pepper at the end as well. Got a diced onion, we'll throw in here as well. We're going to put in a can of tomato paste. Oh, I need my spoon for that. Thought I'd get lucky. Anyway, tomato paste. The recipe, I've downscaled this. It's supposed to be for three pounds of meat. I just brought one, so I'm doing a third of the recipe here. And it did call for one of these cans for the full three pounds. Might be a little bit tomatoey, but that's okay. I don't mind it like that. And, uh,. Let's see, I gotta put some water in here as well. Calls for half a cup of water. Uh, so one of these is two cups. This should be, well, that's about a half a cup. And uh, yeah, I could have uh, browned the onions in there with it as well, but we're just making a camping goulash. Aside from that, I know what I need. I need some uh, garlic. I sure hope I brought it. Oh boy, this doesn't look good. Okay, I'm going to search for garlic and we'll let this boil. Okay, unfortunately, yeah, no garlic. Packing in haste with Steve, not camping with Steve, just, uh, oh well. Extra paprika will help that and pepper and salt, but it's still going to be so good, especially out here in the bush cooked over a nice wood stove while I hunker down. So this is gonna 
simmer, uh, kind of boil simmerish for almost an hour. Yeah, but this is the type of thing you can leave it on all day. It's still going to be good whenever you're hungry. Just dig in, it'll be piping hot. Like chili, I like those meals where you don't really have to cook it all at once and eat it right there. Hey, I have cell service right on. Good. So that's uh, that's great. That's beautiful wife on the phone, actually. So I better get back to her. And uh, as soon as this is uh, done, we'll, we'll dig in and settle down for the night. And uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I don't know why. It's it, Every video is the same. I'm just in the tent cooking food. But uh, hopefully we can, we can see a little more stuff outside tomorrow. All right. Time to get out of the tent. That's way too hot. Um, just going to head over here. Firewood, firewood, firewood. Oh, that's a nice sight to see, and you don't see this much anymore. Most campgrounds I go to are bring your own. So there's there's that aspect. I know you can't see much out here, but I'm going for a walk, and I bring you along. Water uh, shut off, of course, uh, this time of year. Uh, you register yourself when you show up. Uh, this campground, actually, I was very pleased. They will let you use a credit card, so you don't have to carry exact change in cash because it's really weird. Uh, the uh, camping fees are like $4.90 per person in the winter. And uh, if you want a fire, that's uh, $8.80 for as much as you can burn, basically. Uh, you don't burn much in a wood stove, so I... If, you, if you're having a fire, you need the permit, so I'm going to use their wood. But, yeah, it's, uh, of course you can't see a thing here, but the city of a million people right down the road, and I'm the only one out here, like, deserted. Not even uh, snow on the ground yet. Not even November. Okay, we have uh, the goulash is really good. It looks almost like uh, shredded beef, uh, which is kind of what I wanted to do. I guess I'm going to sop it up with these uh, butter topped uh, dinner buns. Buttered and butter topped dinner buns. So, goulash in the forest. With all the trimmings, aside from vegetables. I meant to uh, to get some, but for one person, it's a whole lot to actually get a bunch of veggies and, and do a big meal deal. So what I got here is going to be good. I need to give a quick shout out to uh, all the people that have been helping support the adventures, the McNeils. I know from uh, Vancouver, they've uh, sent a generous donation to help. Uh, keep the videos going and uh, everyone else from you know people that have actually got the t-shirts I know they're expensive which is why I haven't really got one yet but uh, I hope to in the future <laughs> get one of my own t-shirts uh, other than the homemade one but uh, I have to dig into this mm -hmm. oh yeah feels like I'm back and hungry. Delicious. So guys, uh, gonna chow down on this. And uh, yeah, everybody that supported me, uh, thumbs up to you guys. Uh, couldn't really do this without you. And uh, oh, it's just so good, I have to have more. Mm-hmm. Now this is what camping's all about. So I'm gonna hunker down. I got some chunks of wood here trying to dry out. Good coals in the stove, but uh, the wood out here they have is pretty moist. So we're gonna deal with that. And uh, I'm gonna chow down, curl up, 
and uh, morning um, I do want to get on a hike. So that's the plan for now. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. And there's more for breakfast. So time to coil up for the night. Of course, forgot my pillow, so I'm using some old hoodies here. But, uh, ugh. oh yeah. I got a nice little feature on the lantern over there. I shut the gas off, and it'll keep uh, keep the place lit for a bit. And there's enough that it'll go for a while, but oh, it's late and uh, well, thanks guys. And uh, if you like the video, subscribe and hit the bell and like it and all that stuff. And leave a comment too. Oh, thanks guys, it helps me out. But uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, good morning. Certainly did get below freezing last night, but that's okay. I was uh, really comfy in here. Uh, good sleeping bag. Uh, I The fire went out, of course, because I can't keep getting up every four hours to put more wood in it. But it was uh, a really good sleep. Uh, the, the owls hooting all night, uh, coyotes kept me up, the occasional train whistle in the distance. Uh, it was really good, uh, good sleep. Beats the city here and the sirens and, you know, helicopters overhead, that type of thing. But, uh, sun is just starting to peak, peak up around the horizon there, so I'm gonna head out. I'm not too hungry yet. Probably just have some, uh, little goulash bun thing later. And, uh, but we're gonna get out and see what we can see outside, so, uh, time to start the day. So it was a really good sleep in this guy here. And uh, outside in the campground this morning, a bison right there. And I figured I heard something outside, huffing and puffing around last night or early this morning. And yeah, we got a bison right there in the campground. And I actually have to drive past him to get out of here. So that's another thing. Um, you know, they're, they're gonna not give you much of a problem unless you start going pestering them. And that guy there is a pretty big, uh, pretty big guy. So they do roam freely in the park. So it's nothing to be too alarmed about. Oh yeah, that's frosty morning, frosty, frosty, frosty. So I gotta start this up. We'll drive past this, uh, this guy who's huffing and puffing some steam there and looking right at me. But uh, yeah, we'll just drive past North America's largest land mammal. No problem, not a big deal. It's what we do around here. All right, off to find some wildlife, hopefully. And uh, not just this guy here. We've, uh, we've seen him a fair bit, but uh, Maybe we'll find something other than buffalo everywhere. Uh, crisp mornings and crunching leaves. A little skim of ice on the top of the lake. I saw a beaver here. Oh, there he is. Walking her to shore there. Really, very beautiful place to go for a hike, I have to say. And here we go. A little more wildlife. It's got some 
some deer down the trail there. And if you look close, there is more than one. Alright, I've had enough walking. Uh, I got a call. There's parts uh, in for my vehicle. I have to pick up in Edmonton, so I'm going to take this thing down. Um, see if we could see anything else on the way out of the park, but it was a it was a great camp out. It's always nice to come out here. There's there's so much to see, and we're just scratching the surface because once the snow flies, there's snowshoeing out here and a whole bunch of stuff I hope to do. So that's uh, that's the plan next. But for now, oh, tear all this down and pack her all up. Thanks for uh, coming along, and we'll hopefully film something up uh, on the way out of town here. Thanks for joining me. I haven't seen any uh, any more on the way out of 